Shots. That's the way this team is built. But, more, but the big thing that Larry Brown is concerned about, he does not want his... And here's Aaron McKee, who just checked in. Iverson with a beautiful tip to the top of. If you want to look for some keys in this series, both of these teams are great offensive rebounding teams. So who can get second shots? Who can prevent that? All in one motion, just tips it to the Kimba Matombo, and he has eight points. He has two assists, so he has his hands in 12 of the 14 points. And 35 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Nice pass, and Antonio Davis puts it down. They have changed the roster. The most important thing, the scoring is something, you know, that they'll take on the extra, but that's not his forte. Potter going behind the back to set it up. I asked a couple of the Raptor players, did, did Charles Oakley have anything to say at all to try to prod Vince Carter into bringing to another level once again, as he did against the Knicks, 22, and he had had his problems in the past against the Knicks and came on with breakout games. Iverson, so the Raptors now lead by two. Games four and five, Carter was magnificent. The shot selection was better, looking for other people. Playoff coverage, you can email Bill Walton with playoff questions and... Capacity crowd better than 20,000 here at First Union Center. The finale of our NBC playoff Denver Nuggets in his third season out of UNLV. Carter able to put it down. Jermaine Jones, who had just checked in for the uh, Sixers, now defending on, on Carter. And Jones dug with a gamble and a cost. Early offense once again for the Raptors. Keep him off that free throw line. And if he's going to get 25 points... Here's Carter with room. Yes. Again, Mark, when you push the ball up the floor, guys have a difficult time finding their man. And when you move the basketball, you'll get open shots. You can see what he's done on the season. He's had a magnificent year. He's a great choice for the MVP. It's a, he normally shoots a high percentage because he takes such good shots. There's Carter once again, that early offense. That time, Matumbo was switched on him. And he just takes that little fadeaway jump shot. Dikembe looking over Larry Brown like, Coach, we need some answers here. We're not able to stop. Game five in New York, he had a big three late, offensive rebound. The important thing is that the message is delivered the right way. Scoring almost 19 a game in the playoffs. Just let me guard him, let me keep Allen from getting his, and I'll be a happy man. Has come along very, very strongly in the second half of the season, taking over as the starting point guard, and Vince Carter with 15 points, six for 13 from the field. That was a difficult shot, Mark. Lofted over the top of the defensive man. Oh, Iverson off a beautiful lead from Snow. Montross able to reach for it, and Montross done a nice job. Also picks up an assist as he got it to Carter. 17 for Vince Carter. Well, in the first round, the Raptors, when they got on that offensive boards, they really hit, hurt New York. Keep him in front of us, make him a jump shooter, shoot a low percentage, and give Philadelphia no second shots, and keep him off. For Tracy McGrady, and you wonder what would that do for their team has had another stellar season. Tomorrow night, game two between the Mavericks and the Spurs. Coverage beginning at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Offensive foul. Foul on Alvin Williams. Iverson met by Carter. Rejected by Carter. And you can see Allen Iverson felt that he was fouled. Well, so often he creates the contact. That time Vince Carter was backpedaling. Now watch what happens. He just sort of runs into the chest. Allen Iverson a moment ago rejected by Vince Carter. Iverson has 16 points for 16 and has been off. Shot clock, Childs just did graze the rim. But Montrose, late rally. They've scored the last six points. The last 10 76er points. So that's the end of the first half. They scored the last six points of the quarter in that second quarter, but they did hit 12 from the foul line. Alvin Williams able to take that lead pass, but it was a nice recovery by Iverson. Iverson, yes. So Iverson... I do want to point out, as a foul is called, Doug Collins is still with us. We're having a little microphone problem. Doug, you want to test it? Let's see. Apparently still some technical. And here comes Iverson. Two on one. Iverson takes all the way, forced the issue rather than give it up to Lynch. Well, Marv, the 
Oh, there Toronto he is. Raptors are All right, Doug. Vince Carter's role changes. He has to play more of the guard position. Hammered by Eric Snow. When you play against Matumbo, Marv. Allen Iverson who took a poke in the eye. This guy, 165 pounds. Iverson with the step and a foul. When he starts getting to the line 14, 16 times, what it does, it puts fouls on your front line people. 81% free throw shooter. The hustle by Hill, who drew that foul, will come into play. Absolutely not. Now, will it be fatigue be a factor? Oh. Matumbo with a great block. The Kimbe Matumbo with the block shot. Well, they're going to get the ball out of Iverson's hands, and Snow will have to hit that jump shot. Carter goes behind the back and is tripped up. And a foul, and a technical foul on George Lynch. Carter being played by Lynch, goes to the step back. Yes! Vince Carter with 19. And the Raptors lead by 10. They've led by as many as 17. Sixes with a good run in the final minutes of the second quarter to get back into it. Iverson! The Philadelphia 76ers have not won a best of seven. Detroit with the 30th pick, but he could not make a shot then, and I was so concerned that having Grant Hill then, that they would double and triple team Grant and leave him to a lot of open jump shots. Well, now he is getting to where he can make the shot, this time with a penetration. Tyron Hill called on the foul as third. Vince Carter, straight, solid performance. This, his 21st point. They can find the offense that's needed. Iverson off a series of moves against Alvin Williams. Carter now played by McKee. Uh, oh, he had no angle off the spin. And because of that hang time ability, <laughs> he was able to somehow see the rest. San Antonio last night prior to the, the uh, telecast. Marv, this was exactly what we saw at halftime. They had a 17-point lead, cut it to 10. Larry Brown thought it should have been a 10-second violation. Here's Carter with time running down. The key got a piece of it. Oh, Carter able to recover and hit one second. Remaining in the third, Tyrone Hill fires it high and far. And that's the end. Well, they've got to do it with their defense, and someone's got to be able to get hot. Tough series against Indiana. Trailing right here, they're down by as many as 17. That counts, and the foul. So Dikembe is headed to the line. When Allen Iverson drives that ball to the basket, look what happens. You bring two guys over. Just under 14, he was uh, fifth in block shots. He has two blocks thus far today. It will be Toronto ball. something to cheer for can they get some stops defensively can they get this crowd in the game can they get toronto to play at that frenetic pace in the first three quarters he appears to attack more i think he pins on his jump shot Allen iverson took a poke from the chris childs but a, a tough game physically for iverson of that six right there's the little Shot to the face on Allen Iverson. No call. Take this charge from New York in game five and win the game. Can they do it once again today? Well, Carter with a nice move. But again, he goes to the basket. Remember how maybe early in the game he would settle with that jumper? This time driving the ball to the basket. That's a big basket, and that's what he did. Well, that's been the norm for Allen Iverson. 28 points on 28 shots, but not a good shooting performance in this fourth quarter. Here's Iverson. Iverson, though, has come on in fourth quarters. He's picked up his shooting, and uh, that has held true throughout the season. Hill not able to handle the pass. Iverson, look out. Curry is back. Iverson not able to put the reverse down, and it will be Toronto ball. Now they have it in the middle of the floor. He can operate from there and get something good for his team. Toronto maintains possession finale of our playoff triple header. Carter, yes! 
Yes, and it counts. Another sensational move by Vince Carter, who That's has 29 points. That's a great set play. Those are the kind of plays your stars have to make. Foul on Snow. Sixers on it. McKee flips it down. Iverson fouled by Carter. It's a great hustle play by Antonio Davis. Alvin Williams cannot come up with the ball. This is the third opportunity we've seen the Sixers have on the fast break. Marv, you made a great call. They and that's five fouls. Allen Iverson just one for five. Harry Brown, although Aaron McKee is a good defensive player, but Raptors with the ball up by three. And a foul, a touch foul was called. Vince Carter found him, hit the jumper to give him a six-point lead, and they never looked back. Free throw line in the fourth period is critical. Foul was called on McKee. In the fourth quarter, the Toronto Raptors have on the Philadelphia 76ers. Game two will be played here. Or who's going to handle the ball here now with Childs out? Carter. And Carter with the shot. Carter with the tip. You may recall last year against the Knicks, Carter did not take that, that shot down the stretch. Iverson for three. Six seconds, and McKee gives the foul on Carter. <laughs> the 76ers do have a timeout left, as do the Raptors. Five and eight-tenth seconds remaining. And the 76ers, 93. It'll be Philadelphia ball. No, more Philadelphia out of timeouts right now. If they can force and you take a foul, you force Philadelphia to make the first free throw, miss the second one. Throw in five and eight-tenth seconds remaining. The key looking for three. And that will do it. The Toronto Raptors. Right now, it's just, for the lack of uh, inexperience, we just have to play hard. And that's what we do. And play hard, we play together. That's what I've been saying all along.